Hi friends, here we go, chapter two called Stubby. If you remember from yesterday, uh, Junie B. Jones and her friends found out they were gonna go on a field trip to a farm, and while her friends were all very excited, Junie B was not, and she said that farms are not her favorite, so let's find out why. It says, that night at, I ate dinner with mother and daddy and my baby brother named Oli, only I couldn't even swallow that good because I was still upset about the field trip, that's why. I don't want to go, I said. I don't want to go to the farm with room nine, because a farm is the most dangerous place I ever heard of. Daddy looked surprised at me. What are you talking about, Junie B? He said, what's dangerous about a farm? Uh, the ponies, of course, I said. The ponies are dangerous. Farms have ponies running in their fields, and ponies can stomple you into the ground and kill you to death. Mother covered her face with her hands. No, Junie B, please, not this pony business again. We've talked about this a hundred times. I've told you over and over that ponies do not hurt you. Uh, yes, they do too hurt you, Mother, I said. I saw it on TV with my own eyeballs. Mother looked at Daddy. It was that cable show. The babysitter let her watch, she said. It was called, When Ponies Attack, I hollered. It was called When Ponies Attack. After that, Daddy covered his face, too. Then all of a sudden, he busted out in a hoot of laughing, and he couldn't even stop himself. Mother's cheeks sucked way into her head. Uh, thank you, she said. You're being a huge help here. Then Daddy got up from his chair, and he went to his room for a timeout. That's when me and mother had another long talk about ponies. She told me that her Uncle Billy used to have a farm and that the farm had a pony named Stubby and that Stubby was as gentle as a lamb. As a matter of fact, Uncle Billy had almost every kind of farm animal you could think of, said mother. Pigs, cows, sheep, chickens, goats. He even had a mean old rooster named Spurs. But out of all those animals, the pony was the sweetest. Mother smiled. You would have loved Stubby Junie B, she said. He used to follow me around like a puppy. He did? I asked. He did, she said back. Honest, honey, I would never let you go to a farm if there was even the teeniest chance you would be hurt by any of the animals. But my Uncle Billy's farm had the gentlest animals I ever saw. Mother smiled a teeny bit. Well, except for that mean old rooster anyway, she said. Just then, Daddy came back into the kitchen. He said an apology to me. I'm sorry, Junie B. I didn't mean to laugh, but that TV show you saw was just so ridiculous, I couldn't help it. After that, he sat down at the table and he filled out my permission slip for the farm. You're going to love this trip, he told me. We'll get you one of those little throwaway cameras from the drugstore, and you can take pictures of all the animals you see. Ah, oh, great idea, said Mother and I'll take you shopping for a brand new pair of overalls, and I'll even pack you your very favorite lunch. After that, I got down from my chair very quiet, and I went to my room. Then I climbed onto bed, and I hugged my stuffed animals real tight, because I kept on thinking and thinking about what Mother said about Uncle Billy's animals, but mostly I kept thinking about that mean old rooster. On account of one time at my school, a boy named Meanie Jim brought his rooster for pet day, and he said that roosters can peck your head into a numb, and that is not pleasant, I tell you. Into a nub, and that is not pleasant, I tell you. I hugged my animals even tighter, because guess what? Roosters are a jillion times scarier than ponies. Oh boy, now she's not just scared of the ponies, now she's scared of roosters. Tomorrow's chapter three, and it will be called Pictures. See you tomorrow.